All right, hello Algebra 1 students. This is Mr. Fleming coming to you with another video. So on Google Classroom, you should be able to find the notes page. You should be looking at that, note, that notes page and then watching the video at the same time. So without further ado, let's get started. So today we're gonna to be solving with square roots. It's gonna be a different way to solve quadratics. We usually have been using factoring, but now we're gonna do something different. All right. So say you have this quadratic right here, x squared minus 4 equals 0. So before, how we know how to do this, well, we notice that this is a perfect square and this is a perfect square. Oh, so we can do a difference of squares. So we can factor this to x plus 2, x minus 2 equals 0, right? And so using the zero product property, um, we know that if this thing is zero, then the answer will be zero. And if this thing is zero, then the answer will be zero. So we can do x plus two equals zero, and then x minus two equals zero. And so, you know, if you subtract two on both sides, you're gonna get x equals negative two. And then if, for this one, if you add two on both sides, you're gonna get x equals two. So there are two answers to this equation. Also, I can just kind of look at this even without doing this step and be like, oh, negative two makes this zero, positive two makes this zero. Bam, negative two, positive two. All right, so that's the first way. Remember, that's difference of squares. Then um, we're gonna check out something, a different way to do this. You know, we factored, but you know, you can use our, your algebra skills. So we have x squared minus four equals zero. We have, well, you know, we're, this is algebra, so let's add the four to both sides. So we're left with x squared equals four, because we added four to both sides. Now, here's where you're going to stop in your notes and answer the two questions. Feel free to pause the video as you do so. Okay, so when you get to this part, well, how do you, you know, in algebra, we always want to get the x alone. We want to isolate the x. And to do that, we have to do the opposite function. So the opposite of a square, well, that's a square root. So remember that the square root is represented by that, this like fun little check sign. So draw your check and then make sure it goes all the way over that squared. And then because it's algebra, you got to do it to both sides. So we'll square root this side and then square root this side. So write the check, write the check. All right, so when we do so, you're gonna find that we have two answers for this, x equals negative two and x equals positive two. So again, in this case, you're gonna stop where the notes are and then write your answer to this question. Feel free to pause the video. So remember that in algebra, when we do something to one side, we have to do it to the other side because there's an equal sign. You might be wondering, why are there two answers here? Well, let's think of it. So if you have two squared, that's gonna equal four, right? Because it's two times two is four. But if you do negative two squared, it's also gonna equal four because you have negative two times negative two. And we all know that negative times a negative is a positive and it's gonna equal positive four. So when you square something like this, you're usually gonna have two answers. And this is gonna be a really important time in your life to memorize these square roots, okay? Like, I cannot stress this enough. If you need to make note cards, flash cards, repeat them five million times, it's gonna help you in math class um, forever because these numbers are gonna come up again and again and again all the way up till your senior year. So, so you square root of four, two, square root of nine, three, square root of 16, four, et cetera, 25, five, 36, six, 49, seven, 64, eight, 81, nine, 110, 121, 11, and 144, 12. So make sure to memorize these. Okay, we're gonna try another one. Um, so on your note, you can find this. We're gonna do x squared minus 81 equals zero, right? So here we're gonna do the, it the first way, which was a difference of squares. So I know that, okay, um, these are both perfect squares. Remember that 81 goes with nine. So I can write x plus nine 
x minus 9 equals 0. Due to that lovely zero product property, I know that if this x is negative 9, it's going to equal 0. So x equals negative 9. And then if this is positive 9, then this part's going to equal 0. So x equals 9. Perfect. The second way is going to be using that square root. So we have x squared minus 81 equals 0. I'm going to add 81 to both sides. Then I'm left with x squared equals 81. So then take your square root on both sides, square root, square root. And then remember, when you square root, you're going to be left with the positive and negative sign. So I'm going to write it this way. x equals plus or minus 81. So this symbol right here, we read it as, this symbol right here, we read it as plus or minus. Oh, plus or minus 9. I'm sorry, everybody. So plus or minus 9. Um, so there you go, plus or minus 9. So on your notes, you're going to be doing the next problem. You can you got to do it both ways. So you're going to do x squared minus 36. And you're going to do that on your paper. Okay, so try to pause it and then do this um, on your own. Okay, so hopefully you've done this on your own and you've come back to the video and we're going to do some example problems now. Okay, so the example, we're going to do four of the example problems that you're going to find on um, your paper. So the first one is going to be 4x squared minus 16 equals 0. So we're going to up the um, difficulty a little bit. So for this one, um, we're going to add 16 on both sides. Remember, we always do that first. And then you're going to be left with 4x squared equals 16. Now, remember, we have a coefficient in front of the x, which is multiplication. So to undo that, it's division. So we'll divide by 4 on both sides. These cross out. We're left with x squared equals 4. Well, hey, we know that 4 is a perfect square. So if we square root both sides to undo the square, I'm going to be left with x equals plus or minus 2. Okay? Not too bad. We're going to do the um, next one, which is 9y squared minus 27. Okay? So this one is kind of interesting. Really, I'm going to show you why. Equals 0. So I'm going to add 27 to both sides. So I'll add 27, I'll add 27, and then I'm going to have 9y squared equals 27. Okay, so I divide by 9 on both sides, and I'm left with y squared equals 3. Okay, well, you know, I'm looking at this 3, I'm like, well, that's not a perfect square. What's going to happen? Well, here's what happens. We're going to square root both sides like we always do to undo that square. And we're going to be left with y equals plus or minus the square root of 3. We're going to leave the square root on the 3 because it's not a perfect square um, like 4 is. And so we're going to just leave it. So basically the square root of 3 is, you know, what if you, it's the number that if you square it, it turns into 3. I think it's like equal to 1 point something, but you can try it on your calculator if you want. But because we undid a square here, we're going to have that plus or minus answer. Okay, two more examples to go. So we're going to have 3x squared minus 12 equals 0. Um, so there's two steps here. Make sure to, I'll, I won't do these and I'll just, um, you know, have, give you guys a chance to figure these out. Remember, you add 12 on both sides. And after you do that, divide by 3. So feel free to pause the video and try this on your own. But if you did everything right, your answer should be x equals plus or minus 2. Okay, the next example, you have 4x squared minus 100. So again, um, I would say pause the video and try this on your own. And then, um, so if you've done the problem and you came back, you should have your answer be x equals plus or minus 5. Because if you added, oh, sorry about that, if you added 100 to both sides, you get 100, and then you divide by 4, you get 25. All right, so that is how to solve um, 
quadratics using square roots. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, make sure to keep working on the Delta math. I, I appreciate you guys. All right. Have a great week and thank you.